Hey guys, Lux here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time, we were doing some side quests, went sailing around, and yeah, let's finally get to Hamlin. Let's see, I didn't think I would actually start, but... Okay, let's take a quick look around. It's a lot of robot dudes, which is cool. I like robots, but I don't know if I have room in my team for one. <laughs> yeah, Tin Man. We can do this. The or swing. Just steal. queuing up <laughs> for that. Get a load of, this. of course it is. Did you just use that ability? Come on! Easy. <laughs> and that's what I forgot to do, check if I could change tactics. Yeah, slumber not. I wanna take a quick look around. This pandy area. It's one of those uh, bunny wrench dudes. Fence? Oh no, it's tracks. Okay. Lump of raw steel. Let's fight this thing. If it's uh, new. A trap burns now. Come on, you guys! Swing! Now you're for it. Why is he using cut loose? Why does he have... Did I cancel? <laughs> Crappy. 
I'm not gonna really use him, so might as well metamorphose eyes. And... I don't have. <laughs> Why does everyone uh, moon? Wait, no, wait. This planet, moon, sun. Is that star? Shit. Okay. Let's fire. Maybe we could get ooh, sponge bird. We're under attack! Swing! Now you'll fall it! Here goes! You're like a thieves gloves that I could give them. The priests the thieves one. Oh. Yay, we got one. Is it like a cave up there? Eh, I'll probably do that later when I actually need to go there. Let me just grab this. I didn't expect Hamlin to be like this. Like a. Oh, Hamlin was like a pig because of ham. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> Hamlin, Palace of the Porcine Prince. Oh, okay. So it is Hamlin's and Pig. Marky, this place is flipping massive. You know, there are machines everywhere. Careful, Oliver. Your eyes are going to pop out of your head if you're not careful. No, they're not. I was just saying. Uh -huh. Anyway, never mind. The machines, look over there. Rotting Nora. What the heck is she wearing? She kind of looks like a pig. Jeepers, take a look around. They're all dressed like pigs. Damn it all. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or Swain behaving a little strangely today? Do you think so? He might be, I guess. Right, you have... You lot have fun looking around. I'm off. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, Swain! Jeez, what's with him? Wayne has left your group. Why did he just run off like that? <laughs> I suppose he wants to be alone. Honestly, he just does whatever he pleases. Ah, leave him to it, man. 
You have more fun without him, the stroppy just so and so. Wait, unless you're part. Okay. Hey, it's a. Uh, they stay away from him. What's up, this guy? Are you love travelers and mind how you go, won't you? Solutions with a snout. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. I predicted that you'd come this way, of course, and that's why I took the liberty of lining up a task for you. Oh, Darwin, what is it that you want to help you with? I think you find it along the same lines as last time. To assist me in the vital to fit research, I require that you bring me three very specific creatures. Now do you wish to help the progress of science or hinder it? Durin has moved on to Hamlin in search for more creature to no, creatures. Uh hinder it. Good, that was the correct answer. I shall proceed. I have always wanted to research certain curious creatures that inhabit this area. What kind of creatures are they, Durwin? I applaud your curiosity. The creatures in question belong to the Automata genus and about which science still has much to learn. In the name of progress, I would like you to find a large mechanical creature, a small mechanical creature, and finally a creature that takes form of a brown cog. It goes without saying that it will not suffice to simply stash these specimens in a familiar retreat. Oh, you must bring all three of these creatures to me together. Uh, do I have a cog? I got the big... Shit, I forgot. No, I didn't want to bring it. Oh, shit. This one I want to center retreat. I want... I want him here. I'll put him here for now. Okay, a small mechanical creature, a brown cog shape. Wait, wait, what was the first one? Oh. Oh, I'm missing a small and a cog. Okay, do I have a small one? No. What? I'll do it later. Like when I, uh... So I gotta rest anyway to get mine. Anything here? Nope. Alright. Welcome to one of the cats' cater chain of premium inns. We provide ourselves on being more convenient for and cheaper. Premium so expensive. We are proud to offer a wide selection of rooms and remember your customers. Oh shit, that misclick. Look at your wizard's companion. Oh my boy, it looks like it's got bear. Yeah, a Tomino. Uh, I'll read that after I talk to Horace, because he usually gives me a thing. Just your perfect night's sleep. Bye. Let's go. Hey Horus. Wait, why can't I jump? Oh, wrong button. It's been a while. You don't get many foreign goods coming into Hamlin these days. You can't get a hold of Babana for love nor money. Who's those two? What's wrong with her now? Ooh. <laughs> uh. Spirit medium. It's nice to see you again, Ollie. This city is quite something, isn't it? Have you ever seen so many machines? Your idea of fun is tinkering with cogs and gaskets. This is the place for you! Sure is! Oh, you like the machines? I'm really keen on having a familiar from the Ottoman family myself. Speaking of familiars, looks like you're built up by the monster menagerie. Yeah, I guess, but it's mostly... Yes, sir. <laughs> she sure is good with critters. Well, maybe she could help you with the next question then, if you think you're going to like it. 
Somewhere in your wizard companion there's this picture of a wizard of wars that once raged through this land. Squint hard and you'll find some great examples of creatures from the Tamana genus. How many creatures from the Tamana genus are in the picture? Yes, you're no stupid filling out. Oh, sure, you'll get it right away. No, oh, you've got that. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, let's read Atamina. Located to the east of Summerlands, Atamina's harsh terrain is broadly divided by between between Billy Goat's Bluff in the north and Pig Iron Plains in the south. Amana was once home to several rival kingdoms, but of them, only the southern state of Hamlin could claim to be more than a shadow of its former self. Nevermore, recently renamed castle, once a royal palace of a now devastated kingdom. The miasma marches off oh, poison. <laughs> the deeply unsettling place, redolent of human tragedy. The regrets of the dead are said to haunt the marshes still. Perdida, small and relatively unknown village, where fables and rumors about savior are rife. The tombstone trail, a dark and eerie valley filled with tombs said to belong to ancient priests. The tombstone trail is the only path between northern and southern parts of the... Yeah, that's the spooky looking place. Hamlin. Hamlin is an ancient imperial city that has been a cradle of scientific and magical research for generations. It is located to the heart of Pig Iron Plain, southern part of Antomino. Alright, okay, now I gotta go to the war. And I see it right here. This is a war. I gotta look. I gotta count. <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't see any zombies. Is there none? Oh, there's one. This guy. And if I zoom in closer. Let me just do the pictures. Two. I don't know if that uh, thing is a thing. I only see three. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just count up. How many creatures? Three. Four. This is easy. Five. Got it, Ollie. Maybe that was too easy. As you can tell from the picture, machines existed even at the time of the Wizard Wars. Say, Horace, what were the Wizard Wars? I know this one. They were those legendary wars from thousands of years ago, in it. If you think a treasure to the other giant scale is legendary, then I suppose you could say that. Yes, the doesn't do it justice, really. I suppose it's for the best that nothing survived to show how difficult it really was. Very strange. He's speaking like he saw it with his own or who eyes, man. Oh, so you were wondering how I know that this picture is inaccurate. Can you work it out, I wonder? What the heck are you supposed to know? Oh, never mind. The important thing is that you answer my question and all you hear before. Chart chests? What? Hey, thanks, Horace. Now, I think about time I had to look around this mechanical metropolis, so I'll be off. When I get tired of all the smoke and noise, I'll be ready to try an island with a little more in the way of natural beauty. See you again soon. <laughs> Can I? Or chests? Yeah, that's so cool. How near? I'm hoping it's just everything in the map. Let me let me read the thing before I forget. I should have checked the shape. Nope. Chart chests. Cover troves of hidden treasure. Use the spell to reveal the locations of nearby treasure chests, the contents of which may well prove useful during your wizardly education. There are certain provisions that can only be found in these chests. And coming across a real rarity is by no means unheard of. Nice. Hey, I thought we were trying to save money. 
But first, I'm going to fill my face with cake. And I'll eat ice cream till it comes out of my ears. And then, and then... Hey, Harvey, you had it off. You can't go eating like this, dear. Lopping act, she's got an appetite on her. She... Oh yeah, I wonder she, why she's so hungry. You saved up money, haven't you? Let me enjoy it. What are you on about? You scripted saved money to open our dream shop. Carry on with this and we'll be back to where we started without two builders to rub together. There's no doubt about it. Shh, it's restraint this lady's lacking. If we don't do something sharpish, their hopes and dreams will disappear into her gob. Hearty appetite. One of the traveling merchants is having trouble controlling her appetite. Sure, Mr. Drippy. We'll need to give her some restraint fast. Oh, I can't get the green chest because, uh, he's not here anymore. Uh, uh give heart. I don't have any heart. <laughs> okay. I'm starving, but I'm far too busy to conserve myself with frivolous pastimes like eating. Are you sure you're okay, mister? Oh, do not concern yourself with my well-billying. I am just rather peckish. I haven't eaten since yesterday. But if you don't eat something soon, you'll faint, mister. Young man, I am critical. I'm at a critical juncture in some deeply important scientific work, and you suggest that I simply stop to eat? No, do not worry about me. I shall control my appetite for now, and eat my fill when and only when my work is complete. But, but. Now then, Miss. <laughs> now let Dr. Dripper diagnose this case. This fellow's got more than his fair share of restraint, and it's driven him a bit brarmy. You don't grab a bit of his heart, quick smart, he'll collapse, poor beggar. You couldn't spare us a little of your heart, could you? Piece of my heart, you say? Well, I suppose so. You do know what you're doing, do you? Sure do we do now if you just hold still for a second. Yeah, it's been a while since I've taken hearts. Maybe I should have done all these. Um, resist the amount of temptation. Strength. Oh, I say, I've never felt so hungry in my life. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. Without some nourishment, I will surely collapse. And what good would that do to my research? I do declare it's time to die. It's for the best, sir. I sure hope you have a good meal. I thank you. I have learned a valuable lesson today. Too much restraint can be bad for one's health. Yeah, I should have done the... the inn after I... I've done all these spills. Oh wait, I think they don't cause it except for the chest and uh, here we go. Chest and the ghost one. Spirit medium. Oh, I feel warm and cheeky inside, but also a little full. Whatever I've been doing, this money was to get our dream shop off the ground. I can't just keep eating into our savings. There you go, right as rain she is. It's all thanks to yours truly. The only one, Mrs. No mistake. I should be can't say that. Ha, <laughs> it's fine. He's right. We owe you a lot. Help us through and through through a tough patch yet again. Here, take this. It's our way of saying thank you. Three scoops of ice cream. Five hundred guilders. Damn, hey, that's their saving. A hearty appetite complete. One of the traveling merchants is having trouble controlling your appetite. Bonus! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just here. Oh shit! It even shows the pots. Nice. I'll be always using that now. That? You aren't from Hamon, are you? Sorry, but this is far and outside I can get. Okay. Keep walking into the shot. Get money foreign goods? Oh yeah, I already saw that. Let's see. There's a chest in here. Really nice. But it shows these. Nyx be gone. Guessing that's medicine. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Nyx be gone. Stone be gone. Let's get stone be gone. Purification. Beautiful. It's Nixus. Oh, 
black truffle. Uh, is there pigs? Buy one pie. I'll be seeing you soon. X <laughs> of Aw oh, man. Really? It wears off. I'm gonna be wasting all my MP on this. And go left. Yeah, what's a pig shop? Dear me, I went to all the trouble of having a pair of rather fetching bathing trunks imported from Castaway Cove, but I was told by an official that they contravened the law on minimum trouser length. Oh, wait, there's, he's not glowing. Okay. It's like, man, there's a lot of quest dudes. We run off. We tried the local black troubles. Can't walk ten places in the city without catching the scent of one. <laughs> Most of the mirrors right here are ripped away on those mouth watering morsels. The city was founded on the twin pillars of science and magic. Believe it or not, Hamlin was once full of wizards and alchemists. Back when I was a knee high. To a piglet, I used to study a bit of alchemy myself. Oh, what kind of things did you learn? It's a race to meet a young person with real enthusiasm for a subject. Hold on, is that a cauldron you got there? Could you really be a wizard? Yeah, that's right, I mean, I only just started. Well, I'm sure you have the bright future ahead of you. In fact, perhaps you could make use of some new formula I came up with my mouth. Gee, really? Certainly. The thought of a new generation keeping the flame of alchemy alive brings a smile to my face. And let's see what the new one is. Cheeseburgers? <laughs> Espresso? Phoenix breath? Uh, old stone. Berry chocolate. Banana flame. Magical attack. Carnation cake. Sunday. Defense. Your seeds. See through. Ruby ripple ice cream. <laughs> oh. Awkward X. Bone mail. Little eye cloak. And accuracy. That looks nice. Middle of dexterity, now it's pretty cool. Tracer badge, auto attack, or auto block. I was gonna say, he only learned about food. <laughs> I mean, he's a chef. Why is blue here? Oh shit! Taskmaster was telling me some tales of his death defying daring duo. Can't believe you're the same age as me and you're already on a real adventure. Mm -hmm. New errands. Service without a smile. Young man from Amelon spends his time researching medicine. Bound by a heavy burden of worry. Lighten the load. Lighten the load. A uh, lady standing in the main street. Growing a flower. And, uh. Yeah. Gifts quests. The solutions. Bounty hunt. Ghost Lee Machine, on the Iron Bridge southwest of Hamlin, Automana. The discarded machine has come to life and turned into a monster. Sorry tale, but this is no time for sympathy. South of Hamlin, Rowdy Beast is attacking cargo ships. As they pass beneath some steep, will drive it away in fast. Lightning Bolt. Under. So these gems, I looked into it and only specific monsters could learn specific gems. So that's why. Wait, I have to accept. Oh, good thing I double checked. Oh my god, that would have sucked. What's he gonna do next? 
Cheap Jack. Uh, uh, Cracker Jack. Mm, then Jackpot 2. Oh, with more troubles. Back. Red local, yep, okay, right. That. And there's two chests. Article 353 of the Constitution forbids any loitering on streets at night. Or was it Article 3135? Hmm. One. Oh, wait, three. Wait, no, I can't do the blue or the green right now. Gosh, what a pretty fairy. One doesn't seem any of your kind here. Oh, yeah, new weapons. What? Where did it just go? Oh, here. Ah, oh, customer, I don't mean to grow, but our waves are fine some land. Damn, new stuff. Purses. Uh, I want that. Wait, are these all ingredients? Okay. Not this one. This. So good. Hmm. These are so cool. All scales. Also ingredients. Piercing. Bang. Okay. Well, when I get money. I just got a ride earful for my wife. She didn't want to come out, so I told her she could just stay at home. She didn't like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Make way for the royal procession! Hurry, clear the way, I say! Huh? <laughs> Everyone's freaking out. such a pain. Where did you run off to? I had some business to take out of. A little bird told me something that just might interest you. Huh? You mean? Yup, it's about the great sage you're all so eager to find. Tardy! Well, come on then. Where is he? Don't keep us in suspense, man. Ah, well, that's the thing. He's in the palace. The palace? You see how everyone here is forced to wear a pig mask? Well, you say there's a fellow who goes around without. Certainly calls him the Prince's servant. And there's more. They say he's a young chap with a long hair and fine features. Wait, that sounds like the boy in the picture we got from the Khalifa. Got it in one. Goodness, and there I was thinking you were completely useless. There's harsh. Doesn't she mean? <laughs> doesn't miss her words, does he? But how did you find out about this way? Oh, it's just something I overheard while I was wandering through the black market. Black market? 
You certainly seem to know your way around the city, Swain. Me? No, no. Never been here before in my life. For good nose for leads at all. You don't get a face like this unless you've lifted a little. Let's just say I know a thing or two, but a thing or two. Hm. So he serves the prince, huh? Then he must be a real important to parade for something else. Ah. Now it's talking about that porky prince fellow. The thing is, is... Again? What the heck? What's all this racket? I almost jumped out of my fairy suit, man. What's going on? Good law. Anyone violating this law will be liable for a fine of 5,000 guilders or three years imprisonment. Blood. All hail the prison. Hail. Flipping eye contact. What kind of law is that? Never heard anything like it. This what is going on here. This is insane. How could he? Boy, you want to find the great sage, don't you? Well, hurry up and head to the palace. You're right. Let's go. Explain us, rejoin your party without looking at- Oh, why are you looking at my eyes? Get out of here! There's an area of extraordinary natural beauty around here. You know, Tom and Earth, though few have seen it. Have you heard about Hertel of Perdita? They say planes around it glisten like gold in the sun. Who's that? <laughs> I need work, and I shall leave no stone turned turned until I find gainful employment. Hey, mister, you seem happy for someone who's out of a job. <laughs> What's not to be happy about? My best friend was out of work, so I stepped aside and gave him a job. Jeepers, are you sure that was a smart idea? Oh, it was the very least I could do. Truth be told, it is a scant payment for all he's done for me over the years. Wow, he sure sounds like a good friend. Indeed he is. Jobs may come and jobs may go, but a friendship like that is irreplaceable. I would happily give up my livelihood a hundred times over rather than see my poor friend suffer. There is here is no run of the mill fellow, his heart is filled to burst with kindness. Hey, would you be interested in helping somebody else out? Somebody else certainly, but are you sure I'm the right man for the job? I would hate to let you down. Trust me, you're the right man. Please, mister, we need your help. Oh, well, since you put it like that, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you, mister. Okay, this is the one I need. Unless someone else also needs kindness here. A warm, fuzzy glint of... or gift of generosity. You obtain some kindness. Oh, this is the most strange sensation, but by no means unpleasant. Now then, young man, you'll always try to help out your friends, won't you? I sure will. Gee, I hope me and Phil stay best pals when we grow up. Well, he's showing you how it's done. Follows his lead, and you and Phil will still be the best mates when you're old and gray and wrinkly. Uh -huh, you know, Mr. Tripp, you say really smart things sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes? I'll fuck our final wisdom off, you know. Mm, talk to these. Okay, the great thing about Elmo is that I can forget to brush my hair, and no one will ever know. Oh, curse these stupid outfits. They call us Hamlin hogs behind our backs, you know. You are pigs. Carnation. Rat and damnation. Am I not a man? Why must I always lose my nerve? Uh, what's the best, sir, sir? It's a sorry tale, I'm afraid. There's a young lady whom I have known since my earliest days, and I plan to ask her her hand in marriage. Papers, that sounds... that sounds romantic. Romantic, far from it, I'm afraid. I can't muster the courage to say a single world in her presence. I have known her all my life, and yet now I find myself going out of my way to avoid her. Oh, uh, Mr. Trippy, kinda new to this stuff. Is that normal or? Sounds like a clear lack of courage to me. Poor lad's broken hearted. A proposal postponed. A Hamlin man has suddenly became terrified of the woman he wants to marry. What are you gonna do about it, Leroy? Well, gee, you can't just. Leave him like this, we have to give him back some courage. Spirit, you're a proper gentleman, Ollie boy. Okay. Did this guy? My experiment has succeeded. 
Oh, you sure seem happy. Need I am, all my efforts are finally paying off. I have taken a mighty leap towards the development of a new type of steam reactor. Congratulations, mister. Sounds just well. You're very kind, but my work is far from done. I shall not rest until I have perfected my revolutionary steam reactor. Right, you proper fired up, aren't you? Quite right, one must have a passion for progress in all its forms. A brighter future awaits all of us. This lad's got enthusiasm to burn, man. Ask him if he'll give us a lend of it. Oh, if, excuse me, mister, would it be okay if I borrowed a little of your enthusiasm? Why, certainly. When one's pistons are pumping the piece, it would be a shame not to share one's energy. That sure is kind of you, mister. Okay, here goes. Oh, I'm giving him all southern accents. The spirit of get up and go enthusiasm. Ah, it's like a cool breeze has blown across my breast. But this is no time for flower turns of phrase. It's time to work for a brighter future. Hell yeah. I noticed you're buying my gloves. They're so thick, and I could chuckle red hot coal all day without banning my lid. Quite splendid, don't you think? Yep. Your armor looks a little past its best, I fear. Why not trade in for a newer model? We've had newer armor for quite a while here in Evelyn, and it gets heavier each passing year. Oh, I'm getting old. Uh, it's the gloves guy. These two go here. This guy. Check. Double check. But the uh, four. Wow, that's crazy. Every man, woman, and child in Hamlin knows of the difference between the crankshaft and the piston rod. We're in line of place. Everyone should know. I'm not just for processions, you know. Sometimes they shift the streets above just because they can. Did the location of the black market changes every time? I wonder where it is now. I've ordered a swimsuit. I'm going to wear it under my armor, pretend I'm all holiday, and cast away cold. It's a job now. Okay. In Hamlin, we don't hate one another. We all work together for the greater good of the Empire. No one forgets the first point of procession they see in Hamlin. You'll never look at buildings the same way again. Yeah. Tell me, dear, did you remember to switch off the light in the living room? Don't worry, I made sure I turned all the lights out before I left the house. Master, I have cut iron diamond to perfection. She's my number one student. One day her discoveries will change the world, you mind my words. Hey, what? Oh, I missed these two. Uh, they say there's a backstreet blacksmith who will inlay the inside of your helmet with gold leaf. Now that's what I call style. Oh dear me, dear me, it simply will not do. They will never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I have quite the predicament. I wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but the plan of rule just will not blossom. Birthday's just around the corner, and yet the stubborn plan refuses to cooperate. I wonder the poor dad flustered. Her mom's going to be none too pleased. Could you put your hands together and come up with some way to help me? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm afraid I don't know much about flowers. Come on, holy boy, you're a wizard, aren't you? With flipping magic and everything, there must be something you can do, idiot. Flower in the fog. A Hamlin lady wants to give her mother a flower for her birthday, but it doesn't look like a blossom in time. Magic, you say? Oh, please help me out. I would be ever so grateful. Okay, I'll try. I mean, it would be too bad if your mother's disappointed on her birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'm counting on you. Uh. Poison apple. <laughs> Oh, oops, wrong one. Quick and what? Hold on a minute. Didn't you say a spell makes plants grow quicker? Yeah. Blooming marvelous. Hang about. That didn't flip and work. You're right, Mr. Shimmer. We should try one more time. It's no use, Ollie boy. Using that spell will and will just shorten the poor plant's life. Oh, how awful. 
I'm going up that. I reckon this planet needs a decent dose of sunshine. I think that sunshine is rather short supply here in Hamlin. Oh, this spot will never blossom. Don't get your knickers in a twist, missus. There may be another solution like. I forget where I heard it, but someone said something about the very interesting creature that looks like the sun. That's it. You could just get a critter to shine a light on the planet. It might blossom. There's sharp you are. That's just what I was thinking, Holly Boy. Okay, let's go find it. Only good thing I have one. Uh, it move? Okay. Uh, Alright guys, I'm gonna fast forward, as if I already had it. I found you the next best thing in Sunshine, ma'am. How extraordinary it does look like the sun. Let's get it to shine a little slide on your plant. Wow. Neato, the flowers are blooming! You're not wrong, Lolly boy. Feast your eyes on those beautiful blossoms, or <laughs> beautiful blooms. Oh, they are simply exquisite. My mother will be all over the moon. Swell! We gotta plant the flower in time for your mother's birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I would be honored if you would accept this. Purifying pulse gem and a thousand guilders? Iron the fog. The hammer lady wants to give her mother a flower for her birthday, but it doesn't look like it'll be blossom in time. Yeah, let's go. Bye. This guy. Admiral's technology is the envy of the world, and it's all down to good old fashioned elbow grease. But it all seems to be in order, just the way I like it. Did you chop the patrol area, sir? With all these folks around, you must be sure, must sure be busy. Uh, all in a day's work. With a little effort, it helps keep calm and sleep. Oh, you sure do love your job, say. When there's a royal position, don't you just want to watch and cheer like everyone else? Well, I'm always so busy keeping an eye out on everyone during positions that I don't really have time to think about things like that. Hey, you don't even think about it, huh? You sure are dedicated to your work. Huh. Well, there may be been one or two occasions where I felt a cheer brewing. Yeah, no, even to the large. Not a single cheer, man. Imagine that. It takes some serious flipping restraint, that does. Sure does. I don't think I could stop myself. It's not my place to have fun. I must watch over you all so that you can enjoy such processions and safety. Thank you, sir. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm, are you in some kind of trouble? No, sir, nothing like that. The thing is, it would just be swell if you could take a little of your strength for someone who doesn't have any. Take some of my strength, you say. And this will help someone to control their unruly urges, will it? Sounds jolly good to me. Thank you, sir. So it's not true. Human of Temptation. Strength. I say I have a rather pleasant tingling in my chest. Really appreciate it, sir. Good luck with your card duties. Boss, thank you. Your encouragement has inspired me to strive even harder in my work. Cards always wear a different helmets than normal folks. Your eyes look scary. Do they? I guess. They have the pointy eyes. Angry eyes. That's everyone. That can, at least. Which hearts do I have? Strength, kindness, enthusiasm. Not cur courage. Is green? Maybe I can. Probably should have checked. Whatever. I'll get there anyway. 
Let's go to the story before we end. So we can. Oh, <laughs> Boria, you lot are travelers, I take it. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamlin to meet one of the great sages. We think he's inside the palace. That's so, and I suppose you'd like to let you in so you could have a look at him, am I right? Ha! A great sage indeed. Good one, boy. Huh? You've obviously not been listening to your emergency decrees. No one's allowed anywhere near the palace for ages. <laughs> These travelers, eh? Never seem to have a clue, do they? Oh, excuse me. At least have some manners. I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned, and is regrettably equipped to anger. I beg your pardon. Swain, what are, are you? Shh, I got an idea. Idea? What is it then? Got a way to get us into the palace here you. Yes, it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Keep your voice down, Mon. Haven't you noticed the guards' faces can't be seen under that armor they're wearing? What? You're saying we're going to have to wear clothes and awful pig suits? Where would we get them, Swain? We're not going to have to steal it, are we? Pipe down, Mon, seriously. All right, everyone, just stay calm. I told you about the black market. They have here in Hamlin, right? Well, they'll definitely have some pig armor for us there. Just have to go and get it. Really? Crikey, look who's got all the answers, eh? Hmm, I don't see why it couldn't always be this, uh, useful. <laughs> all right. Good. <laughs> Needed to get there anyway. Is there any more? Let me just. Our chest swell. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Good thing. Oh, there's the green chest. I need to be in front of it. I'm guessing. like this. Attack, accuracy down. <laughs> Nixus. Oh, that's Nix. The little swirly magic thing. Oh, well, looks cool. Who uses. Oh, there he is. Who uses swords? You. Oh wait, no. Probably just the status that I have just find. Right, let me go drop off this. Okay. How much money do I have? Two thousand is that enough? It's a dog. Speak with animal. The danger stall. Hmm. Huh. Won't surprise if pass law for forcing dogs to wear armor too. Are there new people? Or did I just miss that thing? Okay. 
but there's some new people. for now. Normally this is as far as I'd let an outsider get, but follow the fellow you're with shared some rather juicy gossip with me. Strange for which I sh go on to turn the blind eye on you go. Ooh. Hello young man, I hope you and your friends aren't here to make mischief. I'm sure you're not, it's just I've come across some from sorts in the past. Yeah, like Swain. There are chests here. Wait, oh, there was a pot. Oh, duh. I'm a fly. Oh, there you have it. It was all a waste of time. Waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She has always been poorly, and I devoted my life to find out a cure. It sounds like you both had a hard time. I hope you find that cure first. <laughs> I was on the verge of completing a remedy that I felt sure would cure. But now I wonder why I bothered. Mm hmm? Right. But you were nearly there. It's been a fruitless exercise all those years I've wasted. Bah. Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it's over and she must accept that. Uh, Mr. Kirby, I think this guy might be... There's Sharp Ollie boy. Got it in one. Broken hearted, no mistake, lacking kindness he is. <laughs> Sister's favor, a young man from Hamlin is being uncharacteristically unkind to his little sister. Stay like this, his sister will never get well and we'll never be happy. We have to do something. There's good of you, Ollie boy. Remember, it's kindness. Or I have to scribble it on your hand, you don't forget. <laughs> this exit. Oh, kindness, kindness. Oh, there goes the kindness I was gonna use. So I don't have to go back to Tahiti. What in the world have I been playing at? Dwaddling here while my dear sister suffers. Edo, you got your kindness back. I've been cured. It's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude now all my research. Ah, but it's almost slipped my mind. Please accept this as a token of appreciation for sterling work. You have saved two lives today. Two miles of big sadoo and 500 guilders. My sister's savior complete. Young man from Hamlet has been being no guy from the unkind to his little sister. Oh wait, that's not over here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a purple chest. Human? That's crazy. Powdered Earl Kern. Fresh black truffles. There's nothing old Earl Bulg ain't able to get. All be for today. Eh, hey, you haven't changed a bit, have you? Hmm, have I made you somewhere before? Um, no. Now then, let's get down to business. I need your grunt armor for suits. Can you help me out? Blimey, grunt armor? I don't handle gear like that, sir. But if I did, what would you need it for? No need to worry about that. Let's just say the pal- the place we need to go has- what you might call a strict desk dress code. Is that a fact? Well, even if I was in the armor business, you're like that ain't easy to get a hold of. You'll have to look elsewhere, sir. I see. Well, I hope that I wouldn't have to mention this. I know about Grace. I know you love her, and that you're trying and you try to hide her. Don't say another word. Where did you hear that name? <laughs> you know how it goes. Spend long enough in the gutter, and you're bound to pick up some dirt. All right, I got it. I'll get you your armor. Get it for you right away. Just wait a moment. 
Oh, did you? Was that a threat? Maybe, but the end justifies the means, right? We need that armor. That's terrible. This ain't right. We can't take advantage of people like this. Yes, yes, all right. I did a thorough thing. Right, I'm sorry. There, I apologize. Stop looking at me like that. It won't happen again, all right. Do you promise? Well, I promise to try my best. <laughs> you can't even make some profit. What kind of man are you? Here's your armor. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you gonna put it on straight away? Yeah, if you don't mind, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Abel. Now, look, I don't know what you're up to, but be careful, all right? Oh, a nice one, by the way. What? Your friend. I take my hat off to him. Only a real pro could have worked out my little secret. Funny, really. Before he mentioned it, I had him down as a right joker. He obviously knows what he's doing, eh? <laughs> oh, it wasn't a threat. Wait, look. <laughs> Come on, let's get changed. Wow. I'll see how drippy look. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Swain, I'm worried about what I said before. I just... It's fine. Now, how does your armor feel? Oh, uh, I guess mine's a little big. Mine too. I bet I look huge. No, no, you look just like you usually do. <laughs> Where's that supposed to be? Like the cow leaf. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Let's stop fighting and head for the palace. You're right, Oliver. Let's find that great sage. Blimey, Esther and Swain have a lot. Got a right old rapper. With that right material, they'd go far on stand-up circuit. You obtain a suit of Hamlin armor. Nice. Did they see selling anything good? I don't know what you're planning to do with the armor, but I don't want to know. Uh, I heard any like good uh, <laughs> jokes recently, Ollie boy. Oh shit, I look huge. <laughs> A new change. Now you then, young man, playing Drisafar, we are you hoping to the ledge to an arc? Ah, gods, uh, keep up the good work. How did it get in here? I'm gonna talk to everyone. Guards! I didn't notice you're you're doing a sterling job guarding Hamlet, eh? Is that a working walking helmet? <laughs> now I must fortify myself. Oh dear. Uh. Just be patient if I told you once. Oh sorry, brave warriors like you shouldn't have to listen to ranting and raving. Really, this big arm is way too big and heavy for me. In a fair few places, no one has half his fellow hair on I'll talk to everyone with his armor on, at least. Machines rain, and just don't match. That's why I got a big roof covering the whole city. Oh, they do? Shit, I didn't even notice. Oh, because of that smoke. <laughs> Someone told me the roof covering the city is not just to keep the rain off, but they gave only us protecting from the gas is good in mind. Whatever your stories, you need to take up your positions quick, smart. Mm. Oh, well, I'm here. Hello. I you and you and place to be. I mean, there are rules. Wait, what? Nothing new so far. Oh, there was something new. Not on your guard during the round. You might end up in the wrong. Okay. Jack rabbits. Twiggity clank on your T 
your number, tough. Oh, this <laughs> scared me, I like Vertigo. <laughs> Hmm, you're not new recruits. I've never seen armor like that before. Is it a new design or what? Smiling my gloves. Well, let's get into the palace. Hey, what are you lot doing? <laughs> sir, we are here to fetch something, sir. Did we send someone out? Oh, Neckers, he made a potch of it already. Oh, oh, you went to pick up the Prince's Weekly Supply, did you? Never gets tired of those things. Alright, for some... Uh, you could ever try one? Oh, my goodness, just say no, Swain. Yes, sir, just once, just the once, sir. Black triples are a bit on the expensive side, sir. Not wrong there. You need to be a prince to afford that habit. Well, you better hurry and deliver them, and you go. You know, we're in. Yeah. You really know your stuff, Swain. Do you know I used to work here or something? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Why are you so interested in my past anyway? I'm not the least bit interested in your past. I'm just making conversation. <laughs> so wrong accent. I keep that told him. Now listen, we done well to get this far. But if the gods find us now, we'll be in big trouble. Do yourself down, man. From what I've seen, we just sweet talk of us past anyone. I don't think my silver tongue's going to get us any further. From here on in, they'll attack first and ask question later. What? So we just give up, do we? No, we just can't just give up. We made it this far. We have to keep going. Let's make sure we don't get caught. All right, Oliver. But listen, if a god spots you, start running as fast as you can. <laughs> Ain't much of a plan, but it'll do for me. Oh, I guess, uh... This is a good place to stop then. Uh, next time we'll explore this palace. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. That guy's coming. <laughs> <laughs>